Hey everybody, how's it going? Like Butter here, and over here on my channel, I'd like to do these reaction videos for games that I'm super excited for. And as a huge Star Wars fan, I grew up with Star Wars, um, played the original Battlefront games, Battlefront 1 and 2, for thousands of hours, and ended up playing the Battlefront uh, reboot, I guess it would be called, two years ago uh, for a very long time as well. I am super excited for Battlefront 2. A new trailer just came out. This is an extended full-length reveal trailer. There was a shorter version of it that leaked a couple days back that I did happen to see. Um, so my expectations are probably not, you know, as high as they were, if that makes sense, um, because I've already seen some of the stuff in there. Uh, but I thought, you know, since they were doing the reveal stream, I would come over here, do a reaction for you guys and tell you guys what I think. So let's get right into it. I don't want to blab on too long, uh, but you can see. I mean, the like to dislike ratio already, 11,000 likes, only 200 dislikes. For an EA trailer, this is super, super good. So you got to know that it's making the original Battlefront fans very, very happy. I've waited 30 years for this. I still remember my last orders. The day the real war began. I get goosebumps when I see the Empire. I love the Empire. Be allowed to persist. We weren't expecting special forces. That's the point, Sergeant. Impossible. Oh, so this is actually, uh, I think this is actually campaign footage. We avenge our emperor. Resistance. Rebellion. You will burn these ideas away. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love Star Wars so much. Okay, so it's got the uh it's got the troopers from the new movies, which is crazy. Darth Maul, Yoda. You saw Yoda's hand. They got the Tauntauns. Oh, they got like everything in this. That's their Kylo. Wow. So, they showed so many different things, which is good. Okay, let's go through this. So, they actually showed uh, a good amount of characters from all of the movies. The newer movies, which have been released uh, by Disney, and also the older movies as well, which I thought maybe they would kind of move on and just do like keep one era like they did for the Battlefront reboot. They only had the original trilogy in there. And a lot of people wanted to see, you know, stuff from The Force Awakens and, and that kind of thing. And to see that they're, they're kind of doing away with that exclusivity to a certain time period or a certain trilogy. And making it like the original Battlefronts where you had all of the different eras kind of smashed in one. That's kind of what made Battlefront so awesome. Um, you know, you had the prequels, you had the sequels, you had all that stuff kind of smashed into one. It was just a super awesome multiplayer game. And uh, to see that they're actually going to be going back to that is crazy. I saw so many different, uh, so many different heroes and so many different villains. Uh, we saw Kylo Ren. We saw Darth Maul. Um, we saw the First Order troopers. We saw our original stormtroopers. Um, and it looks like the perspective of the campaign is going to be from the Imperial perspective. Um, they show this character here a That's lot. That's the point, Sergeant. So I'm assuming this is gonna be. I mean, that's when the that's when the the Death Star exploded for the second time. If you look, the difference, you know, the first Death Star was perfectly, you know, um, 
constructed and then they started rebuilding it and then in the third original trilogy movie that obviously the rebels go in and they destroy it again so it looks like the campaign is actually going to be uh from the empire so it looks like you play as this stormtrooper Impossible. that is unbelievable because all, almost all of the Star Wars games, you've always played from the Rebels' perspective. And to see that you're actually going to be able to play the campaign from the Imperials' perspective, that's going to be amazing. Because you're going to... The way the, the, the campaign is going to go is it's going to, you're going to feel completely different like than you would in the other Star Wars games. Because, you know, you get to be the bad guy. So... All right, let's watch through this again. This is crazy. I, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. The one thing I will say that I was a little bit disappointed in was not seeing the clones. The clone, like, where are the clones? We want Clone Wars, guys. We want Clone Wars. That's the only thing that I didn't see. But if they have, like, the game modes like they had in the reboot Battlefront where, you know, you had the, um, I forget what the game mode was called, but you basically would have uh, three villains and then you would have three uh, heroes and you'd have like kind of the normal people spawning around you got to be either a villain and it was round based It was super cool and when you killed all the villains or all the heroes on the other team that round ended And they had like su like super health and that kind of thing and, and seeing that they're not uh, you know uh, Restricting themselves to that one time period. There's actually gonna be a lot more content I think I just it, it EA rubs me a little bit the wrong way um, but you know, the games that they have been making have been pretty solid. Like, I thought Battlefield 1 was fantastic. So, uh, let's watch this again. I'm really, really excited. There were some things that I didn't really agree with when it came to EA um, with the way that they distributed the DLC for the Battlefront reboot. But it seems like they're definitely going to at least try to redeem themselves. So, let's see. I've waited 30 years for this. DICE makes the best looking games. Yeah, that's actually First Order. Those are the First Order TIE Fighters. Do you see how, do you see how they're black like that? I still remember my last orders. Okay. Day the real war began. I was just making sure. The rebellion cannot be allowed to persist. So here we are on Endor again, which has to be my favorite place. My favorite planet, I should say. Special forces. That's the point, Sergeant. Impossible. Commander, what do we do now? Actually, if you remember, in the sixth movie, well, technically, well, it was the third movie, but then when they did the three prequels, it was the sixth movie. Um, there was actually a scene in the movie, if I remember, where it might have been, I'm not 100% sure, but it might have been a stormtrooper that was on Endor that saw the explosion of the Death Star. And it looks like that's exactly what we're going to be able to see. We're going to be able to see the perspective of that stormtrooper that saw it explode. That's so cool. I'm so pumped. And our emperor. Return of the Jedi, I think. Is that what it was called? Return of the Jedi? I think it was. Rebellion. These ideas the way. See, because in the Imperials' eyes, they're heroes, you know? They're they're doing what they think is right. Darth Maul looks awesome. You can see it's Yoda. He grabs the lightsaber. Oh, I didn't even see that before. They put Rey in here as well. I mean, I, I think it's obvious that she's going to be in it. And it was in the shorter uh, trailer, but I didn't see that part. That's really cool. And then obviously we got Kylo.
That is unbelievable. Whew, okay. Anyways, that's I'm I, I'm lost for words. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, you know this breakdown or this first impressions or this reaction trailer, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop the video a like. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you kind of disappointed we didn't see Clone Wars? I really hope they do them. Um, I, th I think the Clone Wars are, are super interesting, and they they're such a staple to the uh, old Battlefront game. So I really want to see uh, something more about that. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Take care, everybody.